Hey guys, it's Pup Dozer, and welcome back to another delicious keto recipe. Today we're gonna to be making a very, very simple recipe. We're gonna be making a version of Spanish rice using rice cauliflower. It's literally five simple ingredients, and it comes together like super, super fast. So let's go ahead and uh, quit chatting and head to the kitchen, guys. Let's go. For this recipe, you'll need five simple ingredients. A bag of rice cauliflower frozen. I always use frozen vegetables when possible. I always think they taste fresher. About two green onions chopped. Half of a medium Roman tomato chopped. About two tablespoons of Frank's red hot sauce and about a tablespoon of cilantro. Now, if you know someone that's not a very big fan of cilantro, feel free to reduce it to about maybe two teaspoons or so, just so that way it's they can enjoy it as well, as I do know someone that's not a big fan of it, so when I made it for them, I did reduce it a little bit. But I always like to use a full tablespoon of cilantro. The first thing you're gonna do is, of course, mm, uh, cook your cauliflower rice, and we're just gonna pop it in the microwave for a few moments. Okay, once your cauliflower is done cooking, you're gonna wanna try to get as much moisture and water out as it is possible. And you're gonna be very careful because it's going to be very hot. I'm just gonna gather this up in some uh, cheesecloth. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of spin. And then we're gonna squeeze. Ooh, that's hot. It's very, very hot. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. See, look at that. Oh, shit. That is ha 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 hot. Very careful, guys. Don't, don't burn yourselves. This is very hot. But you need to get all of that moisture out of there. You don't want it in there when you do this. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I will be right back. Oh, my hands are tender right now. All right, so once you get done squeezing out all the water, you're gonna have pretty much a giant ball here. Just take a fork and just kind of fluff it up a little bit. I break it down a little. And there we go. Now that looks like some nice, yummy rice. Right. And then we're just going to add our ingredients in there. So we have our tomatoes. We have our green onion. We have our cilantro. And we have our Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Uh, the Frank's Red Hot Sauce is really trying to give it a little bit of color as well as I, I love the heat, the flavor of the heat that it gives. And we're just going to give this a nice little stir. Make sure you twist it and everything. See, look, look, look how easy that was. This is one of my most simple, yet most favorite recipes to have. It's very quick, very fast to throw together when you're wanting to do a Mexican theme night for your keto dinner. And voila, and there you go. That's it, makes about three decent sized servings. And that's all that's to it. All right, guys, so we just finished time for the taste test for our Spanish rice. Just gonna get a little bit, a little bit of tomato and everything in. Mm. Mm. I love it, you can taste the cilantro and the tomato and has just a little bit of kick from the Frank's Red Hot Sauce and the best part about it is that it tastes so fresh. And that's what I absolutely love about this recipe. Thank you guys for uh, watching. 
a very quick video. There is not much to this recipe whatsoever, and it tastes very, very good. Makes about three servings of about a three and a fourth cup each. And it's really easy to throw together, as you guys just have seen. So, thanks for watching, guys, and tune in next time when I make another delicious pup-tastic recipe.